What a pleasure to be here. I'm Ellen Kugelberg. I'm the Chief Product Officer at Android. At MeSH last year, we showed some examples of what our intelligent operating system, Enride Saga, can do. Today, we want to show how our freight mobility platform and this freight mobility platform, Saga, can, is the greatest ally in the transformational process of going electric. There's no escape. Whether you look uh, at articles, white papers, interviews, or in the discussions here today, it all points to a future where electric is at the center of mobility. After all, it's the lowest emission and fundamentally the most cost efficient technology. At Enride, we deliver this future today with a scalable shipping service that combines cost effectiveness and low emissions. We're not selling trucks. We're a digital company that offers a turnkey solution that allows shippers to switch to intelligent and sustainable shipping. Even if you know that electric is cheaper per kilometer, there are some elements that might prevent you from switching to electric today, like truck prices and operational risks, including difficulties around charge planning. And connecting back to Linnea's opening keynote, Scaling elect electric further increases that complexity. And this is what Android's expertise and digital solution solves. From strategic planning of what to electrify and when, to daily planning and managing operations, we cover everything needed to do electric well. If you understand the complexity that modern mobility brings, it's not difficult to see that it requires a different skill set. You need a player that fundamentally gets it. We'll show you today some of the sophisticated ways in which we are building our technology to handle that complexity for you. Making the complex simple is Android's secret sauce. We give you scalable, uncomplicated, low emissions and hassle-free shipping ready to be deployed. It's not a visionary thing or a future solution. This is what we offer shippers today. We've been deploying digitally operated electric fleets since 2020. We have customers across continents with live operation in eight markets, including some of the world's largest shippers. There is no company in the market that knows more about heavy duty electrification than Android. For the past three years, we have planned and operated electric fleets and continuously approved the best purpose-built electric transport planning tools in the market. We have expertise in vehicles, batteries, chargers, energy, AI, telematics, UX, logistics, and a lot more. And we connect the data from all of these domains. We build out and develop all the different pieces to create the digital infrastructure that will ultimately give us, as well as the entire ecosystem, more efficient transportation. It includes having deep insights of the vehicles, the chargers, and driver behaviors, and a lot of other factors that directly affect the performance, like topography of the route, the climate, the weight of the goods, and so much more. We turn this expertise and data into meaningful and actionable insights, both on a strategic level as well as an operational. After all, data can't be, can be meaningless if you don't know what to do with it. We have, of course, learned a lot along the way. These past three years have taught us critical aspects of doing electric at scale. Really, we're a bunch of people that are passionate about solving and developing new technologies. Then we found ways to do things even better. My colleague Sabina will deep dive into some of how we do it with some live demos just in a few minutes. And we'll also have an experience that you can go in and, and really interact with. 
But first, I just want to give you a sneak peek into some of the value that elect electrification done the Enroid way adds to shipping. What we do is we're building an intelligent operating system to ensure optimized truck planning, fill rates, driver planning, with the added complexity of charging, as well as battery lifetime and a lot of other aspects. So I'll go through a couple of them, these now. For example, fill rates. Trucks running empty have been a constant problem in the shipping industry. Estimates vary, but they point to around 30% of all miles being empty. Digitalization can improve sharing the capacity and increasing the fill rates. And this is even more important with electric freight, as trucks are still more expensive. And also imagine the impact you would have on emissions if we could have one truck that is filled instead of two going half empty. Driver waiting time. Uh, having a driver waiting for a truck to charge is highly costly and very inefficient. We minimize unproductive time by centralizing the data across larger fleets. With the full visibility of transport orders, vehicles, drivers and chargers. With logistics facing an ever-increasing driver shortage, you really don't want them to be sitting around. And Enright can solve this for you. Smart charging. There are multiple dimensions of effective charging. Understanding all the factors that affect energy consumption is one dimension. Another is that charging can decrease the battery lifetime significantly when not correctly adapted to that vehicle. Keep in mind that battery covers about 30 to 50% of the cost of a new electric fleet or electric truck. To do it right, you have to charge just the right amount for that particular truck at that particular moment. You can't do it without the intelligence of a digital platform, especially not at scale. Charging network. So, sophistication is charging the right amount at the right time to optimize the, op uh, the operations and the battery lifetime. The smaller the margin, the more efficient is the vehicles and the charging infrastructure. We also know exactly how much charging infrastructure is needed to be built out and the utilization of it because of the planning and the algorithms that we work on. Charge planning is an area where we are leading the way. And this is just a very high level explanation. I brought with me Sabina Söderstjärna, product manager within Saga, to show you some of what we actually do. Thank, Thank you, you, Ellen. Yeah, thank you, Ellen. It's amazing how I work with this on a daily basis, but I never get tired of hearing Ellen talk passionately about electrification. Up till now, you've only seen a glimpse of what Enride can offer, but we want to show you what's happening under the hood. The connected intelligent ecosystem that you will experience now, it was enables us to offer you scalable electric capacity with an optimized fleet performance. Once we connect every part of the system and start to collect all the data, we are able to draw a bunch of intelligent and reliable insights on your transport performance. Of course, you can still get access to the standard transport KPIs that you are used to follow on a daily basis. But we also unlock a bunch of new metrics, but mo and most importantly, the ones that is crucial when society is putting added pressure on climate targets. With Saga, you have an easy access to data and learn about valuable information about sustainability reporting. You also have the opportunity to compare these to diesel benchmarks, which is particularly important when you are on the way to transfer into electric. Our goal is to give you access to insight and help you take action. 
Saga is developed to serve your needs and provide you with a direct path on what to optimize next, letting you reach high profitability. I will now show you in real time how you can act on your insights in Saga. I'm going to show you a data set that is compiled based on customers with line haul flows. We provide you with a set of predefined standard reports, but we know that customization is an important element for shippers. So you have the possibility to create your own report based on any metric that you want to analyze. But let's start with something that I actually have prepared. Emitted emissions for the entire network to learn more on where we have the highest emissions. And as you also can see here in one of the reports, in this data set, 75% of the shipments have been electrified. But let's take a look at the emitted CO2. This is just a graph of what's happening this year. And we can see the fluctuation of the network. But let's see if we can dig a little bit deeper and see where in the network we actually have the largest contributors to the emissions. Let's start grouping it by maybe the origin city. Here we can see that we have one city that actually is standing out than the other, and this is Stockholm. So let's look at only that part of the data. So now when we only look at the data from Stockholm, we can dig even deeper and look at the lanes that is driven. And here we actually can't really see if there is a lane that is standing out. But with our solution, and we can look at your complete network, you can actually start comparing data from multiple different hubs and multiple different carriers that you're using, and actually put it black and white. But let's see if we can see some ten tendency if, of what energy source that is used from this hub. And we can see that the blue line here is uh, representing the vehicle driven by HVO, and we have the green line represented electricity. And we can see that even if for the entire network, the 75% of your shipments have been electrified, only around 20% of the total emissions is actually electric. And we can even go further and look at, to start compare this into the diesel benchmarks to see how much we actually save compared to diesel. And that's a drop of around 90%. And even with having HVO in the mix for some of the shipments, we can see that the line is almost straight because of the differences, it's so huge. And we can provide these insights based on the data that we collect during electric operations with our customers. And to make it even more actionable, we have started to offer Saga to selected customers so that they can assess this for their complete transport network. And with this, you will be able to get numbers for your sustainability reports and have access to insights even before going fully electric. Enroid is the transformational partner that helps you go electric. But how do you start, you might ask. And the beginning of this journey couldn't be easier. You can just go visit our website, enride.tech, and click on Estimate Your Potential. There you fill out details on the type of flow, the location, and how much you would like to transport. And just like that, you get instant access to your emissions and cost savings potential by going with Enride. And once you are ready to start the road transition to electric, we will be there to support you all the way. We want to ensure that you have a high performing and sophisticated service at all times. So first, we learn about your shipping network by going over historical data and conducting a strategic analysis together with you. 
This will lay the foundation for a tailor-made transformation plan, which includes the path to reaching your climate targets. I actually won't go into detail here because you can try it out here today and get expert help from our solution developers who every day assist shippers in their transition to electric freight. I also want to encourage you to have the complete mesh experience. If you didn't have the chance to look at our pallet installations, be sure to do it. Just follow the green grid path on the floor and you will find yourself on a trip of a guided journey to intelligent and sustainable shipping. Enride's full offering is built on algorithms and models developed specifically for heavy duty electric transportation. And they give unique value to shippers adopting our electric and autonomous solutions. I'm actually going to showcase one of these algorithms next. It's a scheduling algorithm that treats the vehicle, driver, and chargers at separate planning enti entities, and it makes it possible for us to optimize them. And when you approach vehicle, drivers, and chargers like that, it comes particularly positive assets to shuttle flows, where otherwise the driver would just stand and wait for the vehicle to charge. As fleet planning requires deep knowledge of each element that comprises a fleet, we have exactly that with our freight mobility platform. Our work begins long before the deployment of trucks. And here I will be showing you a data set from AB InBev, one of the world's largest brewery companies. And we use sketches like this to showcase our potential of the algorithms and allow us to make adjustments before starting an operation. They have a demand of 36 fully loaded runs going from a distribution center to the, one of their breweries on a daily basis. Today, this is covered by nine driver shifts and nine diesel trucks. In their transition, we suggest instead an operational setup with nine driver shifts, but now only with six electric vehicles. This optimized setup will be supported by three chargers at the distribution center. And if we run the scenario without taking into account the vehicle and driver as separate planning entities, we end up with a few problems. And this is what you see up on the screen right now. And as you see, we don't even cover the, fu the full demand. When you factor in the charging times, we can only do 29 runs. And as you see, we're short seven runs. You can also see that we have one driver per vehicle as they were a pair throughout the day. And once we start running our algorithm, every aspect is improved. The vehicle utilization rate goes from 68 to 84%. The charger utilization is increased by 25%. And to finalize, there's the impact on the driver schedule. Before our algorithm, they had a total waiting time of six hours and 30 minutes. Can you imagine how much that would cost your operations? With our intelligent planning, we see a drop of 65% in driver's waiting time to only be two hours and 15 minutes. And here you can see that all of a sudden, the vehicles have multiple drivers operating them throughout the day. This algorithm is powered by what we have learned throughout the years operating digital electric fleets. Deep knowledge of each component's performance paves the way of truly customized insights. For instance, we are able to predict every single vehicle's energy consumption based on the operational experience instead of the estimated numbers from the manufacturers. In return, that actually means that our operation lies on highly reliable information, which allows us to plan current and next steps and offer you exactly the amount of 
vehicle and charger capacity that you need to move your demand. And as Ellen mentioned before, our solution adds intelligence both to strategic decisions and operational flows. We want to power you and your existing tools with real-time notifications and a hassle-free transportation service that is based on the models and algorithms that you just saw a glimpse of. Saga is an integration-first solution that works in parallel with your current software, allowing you to work proactively and communicate with your shipping network and optimize your entire operation. And we actually still have time for another demonstration. So now I will show how we use these intelligent models and algorithms in a day-to-day -day setting at one of our customers, a large Swedish furniture retailer. So, here we can see uh, a glimpse into their demand, which is in the format of tours. And this is just a collection of a couple of shipments. And we are electrifying this. So let's take a look on how that looks. As I mentioned, we are electrifying these and matching them with an available vehicle. And this is the exactly the same tour that I showed you in the other view, just the difference that this is now scheduled on a vehicle. You can see here the energy consumption that it, this vehicle needs to take this trip. You can see it both unloaded and loaded. And this actually is scheduling for this specific vehicle. So if I would change the schedule to be scheduled for another, you see the change of energy consumption. And as I mentioned before, this is due to the fact that we know the energy consumption patterns on every single vehicle that we have out in operations. And it could be that a truck maybe needs to charge in between of a tour. Uh, and let's see if we can simulate here. The, the vehicle is, of course, offline when I'm doing this. <laughs> but uh, when a truck needs to charge, even before or after a tool, the tool will let the dispatcher know exactly where, how much, and when this should happen. And these details are also shared with the driver to ensure that they have information they need to follow through. So this might look very simple to you, but as men Ellen mentioned before, we want to make complex things be simple for you. So Saga is integrated into every component of the intelligent ecosystem. We avoid overcharging and undercharging by controlling the charger based on this schedule for every individual vehicle. And we can adjust charging based on factors such as energy prices, power availability on site, to optimize cost, battery lifetime, and environmental impacts. With insights into the priority of the shipments, the battery health, we can make smart decisions and find just the right balance to deliver the goods on time while preserving resources. Today, I've shown you some benefits of digitalization in fairly small use cases with very few electric vehicles. As you add on more vehicles, the complexity increases and so do the benefits. Imagine this impact intelligent shipping can have on your business when you scale electric operations. Thank you, Sabrina. Amazing presentations. <clears throat> I hope this gave you a flavor of what Android and Saga can do for you. 
the point that Sabina mentioned just now is one of the most important in my, my opinion. The growing benefits of going electric uh, when you scale. For those of you that use an electric personal car, uh, you know quite well how per mile electric is cheaper than the alternative. If this is true for a passenger vehicle that is highly underutilized, imagine what happens when you use it for a commercial uh, vehicle with a much higher mileage. Cost efficiency increases with scale, but so does complexity. But to leverage those benefits, you need someone like en Enride, who understands what it takes and who can support you in doing so. As you scale, it will be clearer how our technology shines in creating an unbeatable solution to electric freight. With us, you transition easily and access a clear strategic plan going forward. If you're a shipper thinking of adding electric trucks to your operations today, rest assured that when you join Enride, you're not jumping on an innovation wagon into the unknown. We are the market leaders in electric freight, and we've been working with shippers on their transition for more than three years now. We've been in operations in the United States since 2021. It's a tried and tested turnkey solution with proven results and tools, some of which you saw here today. We're building these tools ourselves because we know what shippers want and needs. And we continue to develop them to ensure each demand is met. There is so much more that we still want to do. In a couple of years, you will look back and you won't believe that it took the industry this long to make the switch. It's similar to the smartphone revolution, I would say. Personally, I switched to a, an electric car only recently. But it's interesting how quickly it has become the new norm for me. I get really annoyed walking past cars with exhaust fumes, and it feels like, like an old historical thing. Just like it felt when going from a traditional phone to a smartphone, you wouldn't go back. It makes sense for the heart and the brain and the lungs, <laughs> as well as the wallet. We're witnessing the same transformation with heavy-duty vehicles. Electric is the new smart mobility. With Enride, we're building transportation for the next 100 years. Thank you so much for listening. I'm Ellen Kugelberg and Sabina Nassadetjana. We're looking forward to chatting more with you. Uh, so come find us during lunch. Thank you so much. <laughs>